And we always talk about things that didn't work for us or things that we don't wear often. But selling things that you're willing to sacrifice is not necessarily from things that you don't love or from things that you don't wear. Uh, it's just because it's strategic and it makes sense to do it. Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 Chanel handbags that are gonna be my forever Chanel handbags. I'm repeating myself, but this is in response to the first ever tag video that I created. Five forever luxury handbags and five to sacrifice tag video. And a lot of you saw that video and were shocked that many of my, I suppose, holy grail or many of your holy grail Chanel bags were not included in my forever keeping lists. But anyway, if you're new here, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. I would love to have you here, so please do consider subscribing. The reason why in my tag video, I only picked five is because those are, I suppose those are like the top five that for sure um, I would never be parting with. And out of the five, I picked four Chanel handbags. And even in my two sacrifice list, I actually had some Chanel handbags too. And a lot of you were also shocked about that. If you haven't seen that video, again, I will link it down below in the description or up here as well. Two of the bags that I mentioned in that video were both of my minis in caviar. So I have right here the black one in the square. And I have right here the raspberry pink in the rectangle. Like I said, I don't want to get into too many details, but I love my mini bags and I love my caviar minis. They're not available in the retail anymore and they are still very hard to get even secondhand. Very, very difficult. Therefore, these are staying in my collection forever. And plus I do use my minis a lot. I also mentioned my cocoa handle in the light gray caviar and this one is in the beautiful shiny gold shiny light gold hardware this is not going anywhere for sure mainly because of the color and if you know if i'm gonna keep a cocoa handle which i have three of like i mentioned this is for sure it this is a great color it's amazing it's so beautiful like i don't know if chanel will ever come back with another super light gray color that looks white so this is not going anywhere another chanel handbag that i mentioned in that video was the bucket bag and all their bucket bags at chanel are seasonal so if you find one that you like in the design and in the colorway that you like uh then get your hands on it on it because it's very hard to get it again if they go away and uh, i haven't seen them make another one like this since of course, it's only been a year, uh, but uh, is it a year or two, two? No, a year. It's been a year now, over a year. So uh, yeah, I love this one. I think I talked about this one so much on my channel already. So let's move on. Those were the extent of all the Chanel handbags that I mentioned in that video because it was only really five forever bags and I picked four out of the five for Chanel already. Slight interruption guys, I'm hosting a giveaway and this giveaway is sponsored by Samorga. Thank you so much Samorga for sponsoring this part of the video and I wanted to showcase two of their newer straps. One is shorter, one is longer. What's different from these two versus the previous ones that I got from them is that these ones have a much smaller pearl versus this one which was their original design or their first designs with the larger pearl. I like to put this shorter one on my small cocoa handle or the mini cocoa handle. I just feel like it drops beautifully on the bag. Whereas this one is the same size pearl as the previous one, but it is much, much longer. All the nano, nano card holder on chain are so on trend, especially Chanel actually had one version with a pearl strap so the idea was that if i had some sort of card holder size slg that had little hooks this would go so well on it of course i'm going to show you modeling shots but uh the difference between the sizes of the pearls so as you can see the one from before 
is like much bigger and then this is the newest strap and uh, these come in different lengths and different designs as well so I have this shorter one I think this is the number one and I also have the number three which I showed you in a previous video I'm gonna link to that previous video because I tried on quite a number of bags so this is the other one that I have from them so this one the pearls do move around and you can um, have a bit of the chain showing as well I was asked by a lovely subby to try on my Gabrielle bag the trick is to use these hooks which they also sell separately so this is the um, the small size one so they have two sizes definitely get the small size one I prefer the small size one especially if you want to use it say on 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 a mini like this uh, the way you would install it is by pushing through the clasp and then hooking it through so that it doesn't come out of the bag it's only temporary obviously it's not really something that you want to use all the time with the handle but I just like having the option and I just feel like the look really suits it especially on this houndstooth it really suits this length of the larger pearl uh, this length of the larger pearl also goes really well on the square mini if you're interested in the giveaway do watch it till the end and I will tell you how to enter it so the next one that I would pick to be forever Chanel handbags that are forever in my collection <laughs> yes has to be this one a lot of you were wondering like what about your reissue I know I know a lot of you love this reissue I love it too um, it was just not in the top five when I made that video just because I don't know I guess I guess the caviar ones I do wear more maybe and um, I I don't know why I, I could have easily chosen this it's so extra special even with a such a serious outfit that I'm wearing right now like such an elegant outfit I still think that it goes because you can always dress up an elegant look more edgily and I feel like this bag still fits the bill I actually really love the fact that mine is in this graffiti uh, design in the croc emboss from Mitsuya Da from last year which is uh, my favorite favorite color not last year yes last year yes last year yes Mitsuya Da from last year uh, Mitsuya Da is definitely my favorite collection of the entire year and um, yeah this bag is not going anywhere come on it's not going anywhere I guess if I really really needed money like I said in that video if I really needed funds for an emergency or for such a great cause that yeah I, I mean anything can go honestly but having said that this is still the top like yeah it's top five top five Chanel that uh, I'm never gonna let go <laughs> now the next one is this beautiful round clutch from spring summer 2019 really beautiful iridescent black color it has a bit of purple and green undertone in the iridescent the previous ones that they made were not a perfect circle uh, and they were actually a bit smaller so even though this is not really a bag and like I said in that video I really wanted to concentrate just on bags I do use this more as a bag and why this has made it up so high in my top 10 list is because this was actually a gift from my husband and also it was purchased in Hawaii when we were there in Honolulu last year which was basically one of the last times that we traveled um, so not only is it extra special sentimental I suppose uh, but it's just so cute and I know it's not a bag but yeah like I said even with the outfit that I'm wearing today like I said I really curate everything that goes with my overall aesthetics I love to dress really elegantly but I can also dress very very casually that's what I love about Chanel too it sort of um, many things are easily dressed up and easily dressed down as well So I was having a bit of a harder time choosing my next one if I had to just rank them in in the order of my preference um, I was in between these two so either my Chanel 
19 or my Gabrielle. I guess I decided to go with Chanel 19 first. It truly is my, my new favorite Chanel bag that is uh, the most casual and that is so easy going like it literally is so so easy going and so easy to carry um the lambskin is beautiful it can be so grungy if 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 you just dress the part or it can be kind of dressy as well the reason why i didn't include this in my other video is because if i really needed money again hypothetical i could still sell it and Get it again in the future like it's it's a permanent style it's um it's a bag that will come back as far as we know you know it's still a permanent style at the time of filming this and so it's not like if i had to rebuy it that it would be impossible to get it back and of course nothing is quite impossible to get if you search hard enough but caviar minis are going to be a little harder than the chanel 19 for example uh, same with the Gabrielle, because this is also a permanent style. Um, if I really, really need a money, look, anything can go. But uh, those would be the last to go. And this, you know, it would be a lot easier to repurchase it in the retail if I needed to. Of course, the price would have gone up by a lot by then. But that's besides the point of that video. Um, but it is still my top 10 and it is still one of my favorite bags. Uh, between the Chanel 19 and the Gabrielle, they're so close. It's by a hair. The reason why I favor the 19 a bit more is only because of the size. It's just a lot more different than the all the mini ones that I just showed you earlier. This is still kind of a mini bag. Up next, I decided to opt for the Trendy CC. Now, this is a fairly new bag in my collection and I haven't really had the chance to wear it. Let's tick off those stickers. I was just thinking I'll, I'll remove it when I use it, but it doesn't matter. Even if I'm not using it, it doesn't need to be there. <laughs> At least the very front. The top I'll leave, but um, yeah, now it's a lot shinier, isn't it? Okay, much better. Um, so yeah, the reason why I picked this as my top 10 as well, again, it's not a bag that I can't repurchase in store if I really you know, needed the funds and everything, but in my collection it is a classic in my collection this is the most classic chanel-esque handbag that you will find because i don't own a classic flap except for my jumbo which is a single flap um yeah i think in terms of like the proper chanel look this is it it's lower down on my list just because i do tend to use my smaller ones more like my mini bags more so i i get more cost per wear with those and like i said if i really needed the money this can go i'll repurchase it when i get a chance um but in terms of if i had to rank my top 10 that are not going anywhere this is one of them as well because how could i let the most classic looking handbag in my collection go even though it is the newest even though i haven't really used it but I love it so much that it just doesn't even cross my mind to not have this in my collection. The way I love the style, the trendy, is when I'm wearing a more substantial outfit. I love a good blazer, so anytime I have a more sort of squarer look, uh, I love carrying or I love styling it with this. It's so tough because I only have one picked left in my top 10 and uh, it's already kind of like the bulk of my collection really but if I had to really pick another one and I had to like think really hard which one should I go for in the end I went with this cocoa handle which is my blue cocoa handle with the uh, python handle I normally don't go for blues but this blue is so stunning that even I love it in fact this blue uh, with the black handle uh, goes with the outfit that I'm wearing today. It really does. It's just so beautiful. So even though it is not a bag that I wear all the time, um, it still goes with lots of denim look because of the blue color, the stunning blue color. So it's actually quite easy to style. It's just that the cocoa handle itself is not 
a bag that I do reach for often. It, it's definitely more of an elegant look. I was sort of debating between this and the Chanel Gabrielle in the burgundy, which is also an amazing color, but maybe the burgundy will come back because it has. It came back this year. So I feel like this will not come back, but you know, the, the exotic skin handle, uh, but maybe the burgundy will come back. So if I really had to, you know, pick my top 10, I have to include this one. How could I not, right? So I hope that this video cleared some of the confusion or maybe not confusion, but like shock from a lot of you that watch my tag video. Again, that tag video was very hypothetical. It was just like, if you really had to take a hard look at your own collection and pick five that, okay, you just cannot get rid of ever for whatever reason that works for you and five that you would be willing to sacrifice and especially sacrifice because it still has great value and that you can get your money back quickly or a lot of it, um, what makes more sense to you, right? So have a watch because it's a really fun video and two of my girlfriends already did it, Kat L and Isabel, so thank you babes. I hope that more of you will end up doing it as well because it's so interesting to hear from a different perspective. Um, you know, we always talk about things that didn't work for us or things that we don't wear often, but selling things that you're willing to sacrifice is not necessarily from things that you don't love or from things that you don't wear. Uh, it's just because it's strategic and it makes sense to do it when it is the great time to do it. Um, so yeah, that was the idea.
light of the holiday seasons, I had asked Samorga if uh, they would be willing to collab with me and offer a couple of prizes. Oh my goodness, I ran out of memory cards, so I had to go transfer it, come back. <sighs> Anyway, just to recap, uh, the giveaway is for two prizes. So two of you will have a chance to win um, anything that is available on the Samorga website of your choice. So basically you can choose a pearl strap, you can choose a chunky strap, you can choose the handle wrap, you can choose an organizer. It really doesn't matter. They are open to give away anything from their website, any one item of your choice. So this is so amazing. Thank you Samorga for doing that. So to enter the giveaway, I'll make it as simple as I can. Definitely step one is to go on Instagram and follow my account as well as Samorga's account. The second step is that you have to be subscribed to my channel. Step number three is to comment down below in this video that you would like to enter and tell us or tell me in the comments which item that you would pick from Samorga and on what bag you would use it on. Also, do not forget to let me know while you're commenting down below your Instagram handle because I will be contacting you back. If you're the winner, I will be contacting you back and you will have 48 hours to respond to my DM to uh, choose the prize and to uh, give me your information so that I can relay that information back to Samorga. Now, do keep in mind that it is the holiday seasons, so um, I'm not sure how the stock will work with Samorga. Hopefully, if they're out of stock, we can work, work out something else. Two weeks from today, I will be picking the two winners and I will be contacting the winners and you will have 48 hours to respond back to me. Basically, by New Year's Day, uh, the winners would have been contacted and uh, would have been announced by then. So uh, good luck to everyone. As per usual, I'll be linking everything that I mentioned in this video down below. So all the different straps, um, the different bags. So I'm gonna be linking everything down below as well as my 20% off coupon code from Samorga that you can use towards anything at checkout. If you're new to my channel and you love this type of content, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.